Hi everyone, this is my third and probably final um, single battle in a row. So, what team am I facing this time? Quite a varied one, a lot of ground types, so uh, quite possibly looking at Sandstream. Well, definitely looking at Sandstream for the Um I thought I would go first. The only thing which is really going to affect Tentacle is Captain, so I'll risk that and send it out. Um, I'll send Jump Off out as well. And Salamence. I would use Marowak. Marowak's very powerful when it's attacked that. But, um, Gastro Gun and Podium really hurt it, so, unless I'm sure they're going to be taken care of. But Tentacle can do a lot of damage to pretty much everything on their team. Um, maybe not Gastro Gun. My pen's running out of time to choose another Pokemon. And they just do it one second to spare. Wow. It's a shame this wasn't a movie and that wasn't a bomb. But, um, uh, it might be a bomb. I'm choosing their last Pokemon. Uh, I don't think they've got anything which knows explode. Right, so uh, let's see what little pink head girl sent out at me. Little Japanese pink head girl. Um, Hippo Darwin, kind of expected that, so Sandstream straight up with a Sandstorm. Um, so increased defense there. So Surf would do fair damage to anything in their team except for Cacturn, so it's a fair bet. Uh, I kind of expect Hippo Darwin to go out. Um, I'm kind of surprised that Hippie Darren's still in the battle, to be honest. I thought they would have expected a Surf and um, Tentacruel does almost enough damage. And Earthquake will probably do enough damage. Uh, critical hit definitely does enough damage. Super effective as well. So Tentacruel has really bad defences. Um, so yeah, maybe it would have been an idea to change on that. But never mind. Um, I'll send out Salamence. So, uh, yeah, Earthquake isn't a threat to Salamence, so I really should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Um, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Roost or Toxic, um, Dragon Claw. Earthquake is good. I mean, anything will take it out at this point. It's only got a bit of help left, so... Yeah, I go first, and Dragon's Claw comes off, and Tip Tower runs out of help. Not really surprising. Um, it was quite silly of me not to swap out on the first turn, to be honest. And Sandstorm carries on, I take a tiny bit of damage. And, well, a 16th of my help. And we wait for the next Pokemon to come out. Um, and we wait a bit more. And continue waiting. Um, my internet is probably a bit slow since... So Cacturn comes out. Um, question is, do I go for Toxic, Earthquake or Dragon Claw? I'm going to go for Toxic. Um, Cacturn has increased evasion in Sandstorm, so... Yeah, Toxic might have been a bad idea, actually, since it's quite likely to miss. But, nope, I get it off. That's a bit lucky, I guess. Um, that Cacturn's badly poisoned, who then in turn uses Hidden Power. Hidden power ice. Okay. That's gonna well to be honest, Muller for both of my teammates remaining. Um so my Yachi Berry goes off. The sandstorm takes up more health. Badly poison comes off. Um I could swap Pokemon but they're just gonna get taken out by um hidden power ice. So roost I can't remember. Oh, Sucker Punch. Okay, well, if Sucker Punch doesn't do any damage. You really should have used Hidden Power again. I get Roost off. I'm almost back up to full health. And, um, the thing is, Hidden Power Ice is going to kill me if I don't do Roost. I'm badly poisoned, so you take a bit more damage. I'm going to continue Roosting because, um, Roost changes me from, if I remember right, Dragon Flying to just Dragon, so I only take two times that damage and the hidden power does two times damage with the Yachi Berry so I know that's not going to take me out and I can just wait for the poison to go off. No, okay, Cacturn's withdrawn and out comes Empoleon. Okay, and I use Roost again so I'm back up to full health now. Uh, I can't use Toxic on Empoleon because Empoleon's um, steel. So Sandstorm carries on and I guess I shouldn't be finishing fairly soon. Um, anyway, I'm going to do an Earthquake because Empoleon is steel and should be weak to Earth. 
and I go first. And for some reason I don't get it off. Ah, Shuckerberry. Okay, I do get it off. It's just weakened. And super effective, but uh, weakened, so yeah. And Olean uses Ice Beam. I kind of expected that, but there wasn't much I could do. And down goes Scalaments. And so yeah, this is me continuing to show that I'm really not as good at single battles as I am at doubles. Um, so all I've got left is Jump Luff. And um, again, you're not going to like Ice Beams, so I'm going to go Sleep Powder as a first move. And um, if I get Sleep Powder off, I'm um, a chance, if I miss, then it's game over. Sleep powder comes off, and Napoleon falls asleep. I believe you can't leech seed steel types though, so I'm going to be relying on my hidden power, which is, for those curious, fighting. Um, but jump fluff stats are really low, so it's not that useful, to be honest. Um, anyway, first thing I'm going to do is get a substitute up so I don't get killed by any ice beams which come up. Um, yeah, I've run out of things to say now. Um, I'm just staring at my character. Um, is that sound stream ending? No, it's just a different view, I think. Uh, Impaling gets called back because it's asleep, so that kind of makes sense. And out comes Cacturn, which gives me a chance to get Substitute off, so I won't complain about that. Uh, again, I can't leech seed Empoleons. Um, not Empoleon. Whatever. I know what I mean. The, the thing I'm fighting, Cacturn, yeah. Badly poison starts up again. I mean, it starts from small, so, um, I can't sleep it, can't leech seed it. Substitute will do nothing because I've got the substitute up already, so I guess it's hidden power fighting. Um, it's against dark. Fighting's good against dark, isn't it? It's grass dark. Yeah, so it's super effective. It does a fair chunk of damage. Um, Cacturn uses hidden power, it's ice critical hit, but it's against a substitute, so it really doesn't matter. Substitute falls down. So the Sandstream never die off when it comes from Sandstream rather than coming from the um, move. I'm not sure about that. It might be the case that it just carries on. Um, so here I've got Hidden Power going against Cacturn. Um, Cacturn has increased evasion in the Sandstorm, so if Hidden Power misses, then I lose. Definitely. Um, but instead, Hidden Power goes off. Super effective. Cacturn goes down. And so we're down to our last Pokemon each. Jump Fluff against Empoleon. Uh, Empoleon is already asleep and has taken one move since it's asleep, so it could wake up at any time now. Um, it's probably a good idea for me to use Substitutes. Um, because if they keep on sleeping and I use Substitute, then I get another chance to get off Sleep Powder. Um, but if I use Hidden Power and they wake up, then I don't. I'll be uh, rather quickly Ice Beam to death. Um, so Jump Luff Substitute comes off. Napoleon wakes up, so I definitely made the right move there. Ice Beam comes off, it destroys the Substitute. Substitute takes damage. Jump off substitute fade. Sandstorm rages. Take a tiny bit of damage. Leftover heals the damage. We've seen this before. Um right, I'm kinda of running low on time, so uh, there's a possibility I might be fast forwarding here because I don't think well, if I miss then this battle's over. Um, as simple as that. I need a lot of luck here. Um sleep powder comes off again, so I'm a bit lucky there. It's a real shame I can't do Leech Seed, because Leech Seed would really help me at this point, but I'm, I'm sure you can't Leech Seed Steel types. I'm sure of it. So, um, yeah, Jump Plus HP, stay steady. This is the last substitute I can do, um, because otherwise my health's just going to be too low after this turn. Um, so my health is down, down to a quarter at the start, but because of that sand stream, I just my leftovers aren't allowing me to use more substitutes and the fact that they're two Pokemon have been immune to leech seed. Um, so leftovers is keeping me steady though, it's stopping the sandstorm from killing me. 
hidden power is fighting. If this does more than takes it down to under a third, then I've won, I guess. Or if they stay asleep. How much damage does it do? They need to stay asleep for me to have won. They stay asleep. I think that means I've won this battle. Um, it's going to be very close. And to the last minute, I am going to need to do some fast forwarding at this point. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll do it. I might do it at the start when I'm choosing the team. So, hidden power fighting again. And yeah, this has been a really, really close match. But I'm pretty sure I've got it now. Critical hit. Okay, yeah. Um, jump off takes out Napoleon. So, all hail the Luminous Pink Jump Luff because it has just saved the day. Um, thank you all for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.